Good morning, and welcome to the second half Health and Fitness Show. I'm Matt Peel with Movement Academy, and today our guest is Bill Curry with Gen Care Senior Medical Center in Metairie. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Matt. Thank you. Thanks for, be- thanks for being on our show today. Gen Care is also our sponsor uh, this week, so we're going to talk a little bit about what they do and how they can improve your health here in the New Orleans area, as well as through their other markets throughout the country. So just a little bit again about me. I am the sales director and one of the partners in Movement Academy. You can find us at movementacademy.net. And uh, anywhere, anytime you want to exercise, we can help you out with that. I promise we're going to help you improve your balance and your short-term memory, and we guarantee it. You can go to movementacademy.net and get up started with your program for only ten ninety five a month. So, Bill, so glad to have you on today. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Awesome, awesome. So we're going to talk about a variety of topics today, definitely related to um, you know the boomers and the senior community. Uh, there's a, a lot of gen care facilities just around the New Orleans area. So, first of all, why don't you tell us where we can find gen care? Well, first let me mention, GenCare is a provider of primary care and specialty care services to senior Medicare-eligible patients across the United States, actually. GenCare actually has, at this point, I think it's up to 26 locations. Wow. Yeah, we have locations in Chicago, Illinois, Louisville, Kentucky, Richmond, Virginia, Tidewater, Virginia, Atlanta, Georgia, and then right here in the New Orleans market since 2012, we have uh, five locations now. Okay, great. In, in the New Orleans market, Matt, we have uh, a location at the 1900 block of Williams Boulevard in okay. Kenner. We have two on Homa Boulevard, 3625 Homa Boulevard and 3530 Homa Boulevard, which is actually our newest facility just opened August 1st of this year. I've, I've been there. It's a fantastic place. It, it is Amazing. a beautiful place. Then we also have for West Bank seniors, we have our facility on 501 Lapalco Boulevard and then another location at, in the Mid-City area at 4701 South Carrollton. Wow. So pretty much wherever you're at on the South Shore here in the New Orleans area, I mean, Gen Care is there. Yes, we service basically that greater New Orleans area. Amazing, amazing. And, and only 2012, so not brand new here in the area, um, but new enough, so you have potential for a lot of growth. So tell me, um, why would someone choose Gen Care? Well, Gen Care's philosophy is to help keep patients healthier, keep them out of the hospital, out of the emergency room by being more available to our senior patients. We want to be there for them. So a lot of our senior patients, believe it or not, can come to see their primary care provider up to 12 times a year. Some of them come once a month to see their primary care provider. Really? Just like, uh, hey, what are you doing today? Let's go see our uh, Gen Care primary care provider today. <laughs> yes, because, our again, our focus and our philosophy is that preventative care. We're, we're focused on coordinating all of our senior patients' care. You know, our average gen care patient age, for instance, is about 73 years old. So we gotcha, are strictly gotcha. senior focused care. Great. So um, they don't have to share the waiting room with uh, crying babies and sick kids throwing up all over the place. And uh, Typically not. Now, every now and then we do have some of our grandparents that actually take the role of providing daycare for their right, patients. So sometimes right. you may see it, but no, overall, no, you don't see that in there. That, so it's, that, that's, that's cool because you, you knowing that there's something out there that's kind of custom made for me, for my age group, correct, is, is definitely comforting because you know that they're professionals in your issues. Yes, and, that's and exactly And even right. though primary care, you know, you're a, a generalist, in a lot of areas before you go see a specialist, but they're still they're they're not a generalist and just uh, you know from zero to a hundred. They, they're really about that senior community. That senior community. We are senior focused, and you know you mentioned specialists. We do provide specialty doctor services as well. There, we don't have all specialists, but we do have most of the specialists available for senior patients. We have cardiologists, pulmonologists on staff. So they can, in many cases, see a specialist right there at the same site that they see their primary care provider. Wow. Wow. So what if I can't get to a facility? I mean, Well, they, that is a great question, Matt. One of the great things about GenCare, and it's been real successful across the United States, is that 
GenCare provides transportation for our senior patients that can't get to appointments, don't have family maybe that can break away to help get them there. Our focus with transportation is so that those senior patients that need access to health care can get it. That, that's fantastic. As that, long as they live within a certain radius of uh, one of our centers, we provide that transportation to them complimentary. Which makes it easy because that's one of the issues with seniors, obviously, is driving and uh, you know, mobility throughout, not just mobility in their house, but mobility throughout the community. Do they have a way to get there? Do they want to get on a, on a bus in and of itself? In New Orleans, it doesn't really have that great of a bus system. We have one. But then going from one parish to another, you really can't connect. So, And then a lot of times you're doing transfers and changing buses. So this is really... Uh, a great asset and advantage and benefit for our Gen Care senior patients. Now, what, one of the interesting things I found since I've been with Gen Care doing this is that it varies from market to market as to who needs transportation, which is pretty interesting. Right, right, de- definitely. You know, yeah. it, I guess it depends on obviously income levels and uh, you know ages too. Certainly. So, does Gen Care? So we're in New Orleans, but does Gen Care offer that same type of transportation? in all of your markets throughout the country? Throughout all of our markets, we provide transportation. It is one of our benefits that we offer to our Gen Care patients. Great. That's 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 a great way to get them in. And you talk about preventative maintenance. So kind of like you know, your car, and I, I joke around about that too when I just say, hey, we're going to uh, the eye doctor or whatever. I say, oh, so you're going to go get your oil changed and your tires rotated. <laughs> Correct. But that's humans need that same, that same pre- uh, preventative maintenance. You know, that's a really good point. You know, one of the things I found... Uh, and and I am the worst, by the way, Matt. And I don't like admitting this. I'm what you'd call probably uh, a healthcare procrastinator. Oh, you, you don't even want. I go to the eye doctor and I go to the dentist. Yeah. But yes, as far as um, seeing a healthcare provider, I, I admit. I'm not the best at it. Yeah, I'm I, not I, the best at I, that. I shared this. You know, one of the things I do here in the local market is I run some of the new patient orientations. In fact, since since May, we've had over 160 actual new patient orientations with about almost 2,000 patients that have come through that orientation. That's a lot of patients. That's a lot of patients. And it's to, it's to educate them on what Gen Care has to offer so they can make the best decision for their health care. You know, most of us, Matt, and you and I, I think, talked about this. We live on this giant health care roller coaster. Yes. Where yes. we got this tolerance line and once we cross it, we then start thinking about going to the doctor. But most of us as men, even I'm bad, I, I'll be even push it out a little farther than that. But I tell a lot of the senior patients in our, in our orientations that we really want you to not be on that gigantic health care roller coaster. We want to kind of thin that out, shorten that curve a little bit so that we can help prevent something from getting too serious. So that's why we not only offer transportation, but we offer greater access and availability to health care with same day and next day appointments, for instance. That, and that's super important because yeah. especially if transportation is an issue at times, I can't get to the doctor four days in a row. You know, maybe I, I, I need help one day or, or schedule it next month. And it, it's great that it's all in one place. I was talking to my stepdad uh, the other day on the phone and I just say, hey, where is, uh, is, is mom around? And uh, I thought she was at the doctor and my stepdad said, which doctor? <laughs> you know, exactly. and so I, was, oh, I didn't know she had multiple doctors, yes. but I guess, you know, my mom is, uh, I am that age. So my mom is uh, in her early 70s about, you know, that gen care uh, model. And yeah, you do have multiple doctors besides your dentist and your eye doctor and your primary care. You do have multiple doctors. So it's nice to have it all in one spot. So um, Medicare open enrollment is, is coming up. So as we kind of start to, uh, wrap up this segment here in the next few minutes. Tell us a little bit about what GenCare does and, and, and offers and why should someone choose GenCare? Well, GenCare, as we said, is a, a senior-focused, Medicare-eligible provider of, of primary care and specialty care services, but we specifically focus on the Medicare Advantage plans out there uh, because we like to manage all of their care. As I said, our focus is to not only provide that preventative care, but to coordinate and collaborate on all of their care. So through that Medicare Advantage, if you're a senior Medicare eligible 
uh, I'm sorry, if you're a Medicare eligible senior, this is a great time to look at your current plan and talk to an insurance provider or broker and find out if a Medicare Advantage plan might be right for you and then uh, would be able to assist those seniors in getting this incredible access to health care at GenCare that we provide. Because we not only provide uh, primary care providers, we provide dedicated specialists on site at many of our locations. Not every specialist, but we do have specialists available. We even have medications on site for our seniors. You know, one of the things that happens is a lot of times, have you ever gotten a prescription and you get a call as you're leaving a doctor's office and next thing you know, it's a week before you go pick up your prescription. Yes, What yes. we want to do is we want to make it easier for our seniors to get their medications. We do not carry all medications on site. Okay. But we like to carry some of the preventative and maintenance type medications like antibiotics, blood pressure medications, cholesterol meds. And that way they can get their medications right there on site. We could dispense them from their primary care provider. We have same day, next day appointments available because it's really important to keep you healthy so that you can get in to see your primary care provider when you need to be seen. So that's some of the benefits that GenCare offers to our senior patients. And so it's important at this time of the year, if you're not a Medicare Advantage plan holder, you may want to look at that as an option for the future. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of options out there, and, and GenCare is, is a great provider uh, and learning a whole lot today uh, about it. And Also, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. So um, we're going to have some various infographics uh, throughout the show to educate you on getting getting checked up, being preventative, and, and that's where it really starts. It's, it's not after you get it or, or after maybe I don't feel too good. But how can I prevent this from happening? So making sure you're going in, getting checked up, uh, you know, once a year, uh, what, whatever your insurance tells you. And I know GenCare, you know, that can be part of services. You do have some diagnostic services for breast cancer uh, to make sure, again, your patients are at their tip-top shape. Yes, and, you know, GenCare is, is always focused on that preventative care. That's our whole model. So that is part of our care plan. And, and we, we always recommend if, if any of the senior patients out there, even if they're not a patient of GenCare, that they take it seriously and they go do that preventative type of care. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So some good information here and uh, in this first segment. And remember, on October 28th, here in, um, actually at the Mel Ott Center in Gretna, there's going to be the Reignite Expo and Health Fair. And we're definitely going to have some breast cancer uh, awareness out there uh, with, with providers and vendors and insurance. Um, Gen Care is going to have a table out there promoting some of their services. Correct. Movement Academy is going to be there. Uh, we're actually going to lead an exercise class uh, and talk a little bit about balance and helping your neuroplasticity, which builds really with your, your brain and your short-term memory and your speed of processing and, and why we should exercise. And, and as we go into some of the other segments, we'll uh, today talk about some of GenCare's wellness and to, you know, what are the programs that you all offer for that? I know there's a, there's a Tai Chi, you have um, some other classes, and they do vary yes. by location, but uh, maybe we can talk a little bit about those uh, as we move on. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. We do have a lot of wellness activities, and we also have some high-risk wellness activities that I'm going to touch base on, too, later. Ooh, high-risk wellness activities. Like uh, like if somebody's... Like skydiving? <laughs> that would be a high-risk activity, oh. yes. <laughs> that might not be wellness. No. <laughs> but, you know, nonetheless, it can be fun when you sign the waiver. Everything yeah. <laughs> is fun when you sign the waiver. Just remember that. I always tell my clients that when they complain, you sign the waiver. Oh, my goodness, yes. So, uh... We look forward to hearing you from uh, Jen Care again some more in our next segment. And uh, stay tuned. Thank you.
says the date. The 2017 Boomers Family Expo and Health Fair promises to deliver. There will be food, boomer fun, and vendors galore. And an entertainment stage that will rock with your favorites from the 60s and 70s. Come one, come all. Boomers bring your seniors and your grads to the 2017 Boomers Family Expo Saturday, October 28th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Millard Park Center in Gretna. For more information, visit 2017BoomersFamilyExpo.com. Has a friend or family member ever recommended a doctor to you? A doctor that's near you, takes the time to listen, and gets to know you as a person, not a rushed number on a chart. A doctor that actually helped them get well and stay that way. More and more friends and family of GenCare Senior Medical Center patients recommend us to those they know and love. Why? Because GenCare treats them like family, like a friend. And isn't that what friends and family do for each other? My family is very important. We have the whole family under the same roof, as we say, and the same doctor who takes care of all of us. Because everybody is healthy, happy, and to be together, you know. It is awesome. It's wonderful. I tell my friends. I'm going to tell my family. My wife is also a member, you know. We, we try to stick together. We've been married for 58 years, so. Come feel the Gen Care difference. That difference is why our patients recommend us. You'll see why. Welcome back to our next segment of the Health and Fitness Show. Again, this week, uh, sponsored by GenCare. So, uh, again, we're welcoming back Bill Curry. And um, over the break, Bill was telling me a story about his, his grandmother and some of the socialization that's important at, at GenCare because, as we know, when people get older, they're not as mobile. Uh, we talked about that they can't, they don't drive as much. And so sometimes depression sets in because... You know, they sit around the house. They can't get out like they used to do when they were younger. And it's a really interesting story. So, so tell us a little bit more, Bill. Well, uh, you know, this led in because of our Gen Care has the wellness activities as an extra benefit for our senior patients because we know that across the United States, some of the senior population does suffer from some depression because of they may not have family contact. And I, I mentioned my grandmother. She falls in that category. She... Her entire life, she passed on at 89, but her entire life, she never once learned how to drive, didn't own a driver's license. Wow. So Wow. That's, that's old school right that's there. That's old school. Yes, yes. In fact, I don't even know if she liked sitting in the front seat. She was scared to death of getting in the car, as well as she never went on a plane. She so, loved Chicago Cubs, by the way, and never went on a plane. So it was, uh, she was literally driving Miss Daisy. She, she was, my grandfather was driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> well, what, when my grandfather passed, uh, my grandmother thankfully moved in with my aunt and then moved in with us later on. And uh, I, it was just so good to have her in the house because she was able to get some of that socialization. You know, she hardly ever left. And I remember I'd ask her in the mornings, Mama, what do you have planned for today? And she loved Phyllis Diller. Do you remember Phyllis Diller? I do remember Phyllis Diller, yes. You know what's yes. funny about that comment? I asked my sons. I have four boys. They're in their 20s now. One's just under 20. And I say, hey, you remember Phyllis Diller? And they're like, who? They don't remember that. Right. You know? But we do. So my, my grandmother said, told me a story about Phyllis Diller, how she was interviewed later in life, and they said, Phyllis, do you get out much anymore? And Phyllis Diller said, nowadays, honey, my hip goes out more than I do. Right. True. So True. she told me that story every day, but it really makes a point that we wanted our seniors to have a way to get out, not only to fulfill some of the exercising that maybe their primary care provider said, hey, you should get out and get some more exercise, but also to get some of that socialization. So GenCare offers at all of our locations different wellness activities. We have Tai Chi classes that we just resumed again, or we are resuming uh, again, we lost our Tai Chi instructor a while ago, and then we just got a new one. So we'll be bringing back Tai Chi. And I think, Matt, you know with Tai Chi and your Movement Academy focuses on this as well, is that uh, doing that Tai Chi, it's a slow-moving activity, but it's been shown to help 
stabilize and build better balance in some of the senior patients, which can lead to fewer trips and falls. At least that's the focus. Ab- absolutely. Anytime you can improve your balance. And, and I know we, we talk a little bit about or a, little bit, a lot about the, the senior and, and the baby boomer, but balance is important to everybody regardless of your age. You, know, you fall because you lose your balance or you put yourself in an extreme position. Hey, it still hurts. Yes. You know, just as you're, if you're a senior, it hurts a little bit more and takes a little bit longer to recover. But working on balance, working on core stability, um, because that's what life is about. I, I do some talks out there about our, our program and then obviously about neuroplasticity and balance. And if you drop your keys, for you and I, it's not a big deal. We just bend down, we pick them up. Maybe we have to stand on one leg, and, and we can still pick them up. Well, I'm 51 now, Matt, so mine's a little bit more difficult. Well, maybe for you, you have to <laughs> position around a little bit more. You know, I'm, I'm 42. So, uh, <laughs> But for someone else, maybe that is a, a, a drastic event. Like, all right, my keys drop. How am I going to get these mm-hmm. if there's nowhere around me to support and help me down and then, not just help me down, you know, gravity always pulls you down. Up, right. How are you going to get back up again? Exactly. So doing things, Tai Chi, um, any types of balance movement, plus it helps the brain. It does. You know, we, we talked about that, the neuroplasticity and doing those martial arts, gymnastics, uh, not, not that they're going to be flipping around, right. but just overall those activities do help develop the brain and those neural pathways so that you have better short-term memory. Yeah. You have a better speed of processing. So it's great. And doing it in a socialized environment then just adds that extra piece of fun. Right. right? Because if you're there doing exercise with someone, and I kind of thought about this a little bit for myself, the story. So I do some obstacle course races, and you know, running is obviously a part of a race. Right. Well, guess what? Update. I hate running. Yes. I despise it. I'll go run for a sport all day. But just to say, hey, Matt, you want to go for a five-mile job? (laughs) Ooh. I agree with that. Will you look at the time? (laughs) No, I don't. I I don't have time for a five-mile jog, even though I do. I just don't want to. So playing on a sports team was important for that socialization, and I'll run all day. So when you can bring someone together, say, into your clinic and do a Tai Chi, do some type of other group exercise program, that's amazing. It is. And, and we also have the Silver Sneakers program at uh, our facility so they can call one of our centers and find out when those are offered. But they'll do a, a, a strength, a cardio and strengthening course. They'll do a yoga at some of our locations. So we do have a lot of wellness activities. We want to help get our patients to not only do some physical activity, but also socialize a little bit, interact with some of the other patients, get to know some of them. Absolutely. In, in the class that also I teach at the gym, um, you know, sometimes they don't really work out as hard because they're talking yes. or they, they, they skip a, a station. But I'm OK with that. And, and those of them that are going to be watching the show, they, they know who, who I'm talking about. But uh, and that, that's fine because socialization is a part of it. Obviously, we want to work out. We want to get the exercise. But if you can chit chat with your friends yeah. and have a good time and maybe there's some good music involved that brings you back or brings them back to their memories of their 20s or 30s or teens or whatever, then that's the important part. You know, get involved, have fun with it. You know, that's a funny thing you mentioned because I did, I was visiting some of the centers and I did see one of the cardio and strengthening classes going on and we had a, uh, we had a gentleman in there that he was he was in full slacks and a dress shirt. You know, oh, so, yeah, yeah right. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. They, they wear that to work out. Or, but he or was jeans, having a great time. He was having a great time. Whatever works, man. It does, yes. They don't have to. Uh, at that age, it's not about deadlifting 525 pounds. It, yes. it is about uh, just being active, getting the heart rate up, doing some resistance movements, because all those things, again, light up different areas of the brain. I, one thing I, I didn't realize either is object control. So for us, as we're younger, sometimes, you know, if we have a ball and we just throw the ball up, we can catch it no problem. Yes. Or you throw your keys up and catch it no problem. As we age, that hand-eye coordination also goes. Mm-hmm. So if they throw a ball up, you know, the, where, where did it go? Yeah. You know, how, did, how do I catch it? And it's not just catching it here, say, at your waist level, but being able to catch it in different levels and then throwing it up with different hands. Yep. So managing all of those things together is extremely important because we can't always be in a position where our strong hand, whether we're right-handed or left-handed, 
is in use. Yes. We we have to be and plus for injury prevention, as we talked about with balance. It helps to know where you helps to know where you're going. If if you have to bend down with that left leg and you've never done that left leg or a long time, yes. That's where an ACL injury can happen. Yes. So super important to uh to work on that. And then one of the other things in our uh that's I guess falls under the wellness activities, but it's really a we do offer a high risk or chronic disease classes, which okay. uh, they'll uh, our, at GenCare will uh, will actually assign a, a, a case manager to them, and is those are for patients that maybe have congestive heart failure or chronic COPD or diabetes or um, kidney disorders and mm-hmm. things like this, just to help work with them on living a healthier lifestyle and monitoring their health a little more closely. We have activities. In fact, you know, we had a cardio class that was put on by a cardiology team uh, over the last two or three weeks. It was like 8.30 in the morning till 9.30, and they brought in a nutritionist, and the cardiac team actually talked to them about better health and heart care and heart health. So we have these available for our patients, again, because our goal is to keep them healthy out of the hospital, out of the emergency rooms. Right. The healthcare as a whole is transitioning um, to keep people out of the hospital instead of bringing you into the hospital for all of your care. How can we keep you out? Exactly. And uh, that works for everybody. Again, just like our cars. How do we keep the car out of the shop? Because every time the car goes in the shop, what are you thinking? Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. How much is that going to cost me? And the the body's the same way. How much is that going to cost me? Yes. (laughs) Have I met my deductible? Or if I don't, let's say, have great insurance, how much longer am I going to have to work or a second job delivering pizza to uh, pay for that surgery or that injury? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, my wife, she, she had recently had a hysterectomy. And uh, we were a- after the hysterectomy, it was a couple of days later, it was in the evening time, she was feeling some stomach pains, and we couldn't reach our, uh, her OBGYN. So mm-hmm. she ended up going to the emergency room. And, and that stay ended up being probably not necessary. But when you're at home in the evening time and you can't reach your doctor or a doctor to talk to you know you're in that mode of should i stay or should i go you know right. that old song about right. the clash yes. keeps popping up in my head but you want to um, sing it for me no 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 oh, okay. I, karaoke is not my thing i love it but uh, my voice is not I, the... I i make my seniors sing in the, in the class oh, oh we absolutely. gotta do that then we gotta start karaoke too as well <laughs> but I mention that because one of the things that we offer at gen care is that we have doctors on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you need to talk to a doctor after hours, we're open Monday through Friday, just like regular doctor's office from 7.30 to 4.30 or 5 p.m., except for holidays. But at any time, you could call our number and reach a live operator, and then they'll put you in contact with a doctor so you can at least get a second opinion, or you could talk to someone about it before you make that decision. That's super important to hear yeah. a live person. Very, it's, it's comforting to hear that on the other end of the line, not not just uh, a, a recording or something like that, but but th- there's a connection there that they can empathize with you. Yeah, so that's our focus. It's always been our focus is not only to provide you with a, a unique care experience that gives you greater access and availability to doctors in healthcare, but also to be reachable and responsive with 24-7 doctors on call. So Right. Definitely, definitely. It, it's it's great to be able to have that service uh, available, and and that comfort. You know, if we can reduce our cost overall, and get better health care, you know, it's a win for everybody. Yes, absolutely a win. And keeping the senior patients healthier and enjoying this part of their life is really important to us at GenCare. All right. So as we go to break, uh, come back uh, for round three, and we're going to have a little bit of fun. Um, some questions from left field. We'll see how Bill does. A little bit of current events on health. Uh-oh. And uh, stay tuned with us. Thanks. All right, thanks.
of October, we honor those who we have loved and lost and all of us who remain in the fight, the Warrior Angels. New Orleans Talk Network and Boomer's Lifestyle Network present the 2017 Warriors Angels Fundraiser for the Susan G. Coleman for the Cure. Thursday, October 19th, 2017, 6 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. at the New Orleans Talk Network, 7601 West Bank Expressway, Marrero. There will be food, networking, and entertainment. All are invited. We will never stop fighting. We will never forget. In the month of October, we honor those who we have loved and lost and all of us who remain in the fight, the Warrior Angels. New Orleans Talk Network and Boomer's Lifestyle Network present the 2017 Warriors Angels Fundraiser for the Susan G. Coleman for the Cure. Thursday, October 19th, 2017, 6 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. at the New Orleans Talk Network, 7601 West Bank Expressway, Marrero. There will be food, networking, and entertainment. All are invited. We will never stop fighting. We will never forget. Hi, and welcome back to the Second Half Health and Fitness Show. We're here with the mastermind behind everything, oh Ms. Cinder oh Miller. Oh, goodness. Hello. Welcome, Hello. welcome. Thank you for having me, Matt. And uh, today, real quick, we're going to, uh, Cinder has been gracious enough to begin using the Movement Academy program. So we're just going to do a little promo here for this and let you know for the next couple months, we're going to put Cinder through some of the movement categories and see how well she improves with her balance, maybe a little bit of her memory, because remember, that's what <laughs> the program does. You know, try and get rid of some I of those. I use help with my memory. Right, try and get rid of those senior, some senior movements and help her with her balance. So keep watching uh, in November and December and then on to next year, and we'll see how she does. So remember, Movement Academy, you can exercise anywhere, anytime. We promise we're going to help your balance and help your memory, and we guarantee it. Looking forward. All right. Welcome back again to segment three. As you saw, uh, Cinder is up for the challenge, as am I using our active aging system. And again, you can take your assessment, your free assessment at movementacademy.net and then uh, go ahead and get your program started for only ten ninety five a month, less than the cost of a gym, anywhere, anytime. Again, we're going to help your balance. We're going to help your memory. We're going to help your movement. And we do guarantee we'll be able to provide that for you. So now we're going to have a little bit of fun uh -oh. as uh, we get into that. <laughs> And what it was I see? Questions out of left field. Oh, man. Here is a swing and a drive toward left field and deep. Uh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Mike, you do an amazing job for us. All right, Bill. Uh -oh. Questions from left field. I feel like Johnny Carson when I do this, or yes. Dave Letterman, one or the other. They're all good. All right, so... Five questions. There's no time limit on it. Mm. So we're just going to see how good is your knowledge of random, useless junk. Uh-oh. Okay? Yes. All right. So question one, October. So what's at the end of this month that everybody likes to do? Halloween. Halloween. So what countries did Halloween get started in? Wow. Yeah. I really have no clue. <laughs> Throw a guess. Any let's guess. Say, Any guess. You have a lot of countries to choose from. Yes. Let's say Russia. No, no, <laughs> not Russia. We're going to have to come up with a buzzer, I think, for our next yes. round. Uh, Halloween was actually started in the United Kingdom, ah. in Ireland, and in northern France from the Celts Perfect. and uh, celebrating Samhain. So that was where... Uh, Halloween got started from. So, good try. Good try. I had no idea either. No. That's why I look it up. I, you know, I was thinking Frankenstein. Frankenstein would have been close. <laughs> Frankenstein would have been close because France is next to Germany. So, the next one I've always been wanting to use this country is involved in the question. How many time zones are in Mongolia? One. 
Oh, Bill. Three. Really? Three times zones in Mongolia. Wow. I would have said one, two. You know, in, in I think in China, it's only one time zone throughout the whole country. So I was just thinking they're close. So Maybe because of all the mountains uh, by there. So do you want to know the names? Why not? Why not? And let's see if I can pronounce these right. So there's uh, Hoved, H-O-V-D, however you want to say that, Ulan Bator, and Choi Balsan. I might even got that wow. halfway correct. That sounded really... It sounded very, very a- Mongolian Asian. of yeah, me. Yeah, very Mongolian. Very Mongolian of me. Um, all right, here we go. You might know this one. Okay. Which teams played the first National Hockey League game? Wow. You know, I'm from New Orleans, don't you? I, I know <laughs> that. That's why I ask so, these questions. Because uh, we have so much ice around here. Wow, yes. Let's say the... Somewhere in Canada? Oh, oh that's it? good. That's good. You're there. Yeah, in Canada. In Canada. All right. And then maybe... I'll, we'll, even, we'll go with the city. What what cities? What, what? Uh, city in Canada? Yeah. I mean, there are two teams, you know, so... Toronto? Okay, that's one. We'll give you that. Ah. Against? The... Ah, oh, jeez. It's on the tip of your tongue. Vancouver. Oh, close. Montreal. Montreal. Damn. Montreal. And no, that's not the Canadians and the Maple Leaf people. It is the Montreal Wanderers and the Toronto Arenas with the Wanderers winning 10 to 9. Wow. Yeah. I wish you would have stuck with something more regional. <laughs> <laughs> what fun is that? No, no, no. Go what ahead. fun is that? <laughs> Humiliate the man next to you. <laughs> I'm game. No worries. So. Um, you see, with my kids in the old days, I'd make up the answer, and it was okay. They were young. They didn't know. Well, see, right. now we got Google just to, right. to kill all the bar arguments. Right. I know. So, on, interestingly enough, so um, on December 19th, 1917, was when that first game uh, was done. So, 100 years coming up. Wow. And December 19th uh, in 97 <clears throat> is when I graduated college. And then uh, December 19th in 01 was when my son was born. So, uh, December 19th is... That's a big day for Somehow you. Somehow it's become That's a, big, a day big day for you. And for hockey fans all around the country. Yes. All right, here we go. You might get this one. Number okay. four. Go. What is the largest country by size in Africa? Jeez, oh, I wish. My goodness. Uh, <clears throat> I don't. What's it start with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The A. Uh, I, I really Algeria. 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 Wow. By size. By nice. population, it's Nigeria. Wow. Yeah. Who would have thunk nice. it? Not South Africa. So I believe I may be uh, currently one for five. You are one for five. Uh, you're point five. A point five. Point for five. five for five yes. right now. Nice. Now this next one, I know we're supposed to have. Um, Dr. Uh, Kyle McGee originally on here. So this yeah. next question was really for him to see just how much an overall biology he knew. Uh, gotcha. So let's see if you know this. Uh-oh. I had no idea. So the question is, what is the scientific or the genus name of an oak tree? <laughs> because oak trees are around here. You know, we have lots yes. of oaks. I wish you would ask me what a mushroom was. Oh, well, like what is the mushroom? Agraricus bispor- bis- bisporus. There you go. Yeah. Well, so I'll give you point five, <laughs> but uh, no, I unfortunately, yeah, I, I I worked in a food process consulting business for years, so I knew uh, you I knew, knew the that. mushrooms, canned mushrooms out of. All right. So the time. final question here, or the final no. answer, is uh, Quercus. So the scientific name of an oak tree is Quercus. Quercus. Wow. Yes. Nice. So that wraps up our questions from left, left field. field. Nice. And it worked. Totally helped me scoreless on this. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Mike. We got to throw up that uh, graphic next time, though, too, as we end. But uh, amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing. All right, so we'll wrap up the segment. So with some, actually, a little bit of current events just uh, out there in the health industry. So I did a little bit, uh, some more Google, and the uh, University of Rochester Medical Center just kind of listed the top 10 common senior health issues. So uh, I'll just read them out, and then we can uh, talk about them for the last few minutes um, about that. So the first one they listed was physical activity 
and nutrition. Uh, number two, obesity. So those kind of go together a little bit. I as, think, as Yeah, I think and, they probably do. And I think it's not just for seniors. I think actually those two are for everybody. Yes. You know, e- exercising, eating right, which then leads obviously to number two of overweight and obesity. Yeah, correct. And, and I, I think at Gen Care, we do offer those activities because our is to try also but at the same time, it's very serious. We got to eat tobacco and Environmental quality, uh, immunization, and then access to health care. And I think for access to the health care bill, Gen Care does a pretty good job on that. That that you're exactly right, Matt. I mean, that is Gen Care's foundation is to make sure we provide as that we have the we have locations on site, we have transportation to get them to and from their home to one of our offices, and we have same day, next day appointments because our goal is to try Great. to make sure seniors get the care they need when they need it awesome awesome all right so stay tuned and we'll wrap up here we uh, this week Jen.